Hey everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Clearing. All right. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to do a reading on what are the DMs? What do they have going on in their personal lives, in their lives, aside from these connections, that directly relates to these connections. So what do the DMs consciously know is going on? Thank you, Divine Creator, for using me as a channel of only the highest, most beneficial information coming through. What are the DMs conscious of? What are they sort of unaware of? in the way that it directly relates to their journey and the divine feminine. What kind of growth are they experiencing in what sort of ways? Let's see what we get for that. What's kind of hidden or in the works? Things the DMs may not know and what would they say to the DFs about what's going on in their lives at this time? I <laughs> just heard hubba hubba, I saw one wand, which is the most phallic card in the deck. So there's something possibly spring is in the air if you're in the northern hemisphere and I get you are right. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> but let's see, what are we really going to get? And what do the Divine Feminines need to know about what we'll see here? So this is going to be fun. What can we see? Let's, I need some more room. All right. What do the DMs have going on affecting the whole connection? So like an overview energy. Wow. Okay secrets about commitment like this connection has taught the dms everything they need to know about committed love king of pentacles this is life partnership it's even an entrepreneurial card the moon in the inverse means the secrets the deep being brought to light this connection is showing the divine masculines how to masculine up and come into this consistent embodied material realm kingly energy this is a divine feminine card the moon it's like you show the masculines such depth and worthiness what is actually valid and worthy of connecting with committing to but they take instruction in their own lives, feminines. What would they say to you about this? Happiness is my priority. So you are such a sacred mirror for them. I'm getting that they see the reflection of when they're in alignment. So yeah, masculines, you have been sharpened by your feminine. And in the times when you haven't been happy, that's been reflected back and forth. And the times that you have been in this consistent, solid, trustworthy, lovable and loving energy, you felt this ultimate happiness. So these secrets, it hits so <laughs> beautiful. When you're happy, you're happy. And when you're not, you know something is out of alignment here. What do the feminines need to know about this? Six of Wands, inner victory. So even if it's not public knowledge or the connection isn't front row and center out in the material realm, take this inner victory that you have confidently, accurately shown your masculine certain things that only you can reflect with each other. And you are, you know, not their happy place, sort of. They do think of you fondly, but you've helped them understand what true happiness really is. And that is worthy of a little inner hug. <laughs> what can we see for how, what the masculines have going on 
in their lives as it relates to what they think of the divine feminines. Wow. Destiny, the star, and the six of cups in the inverse. This is very deep. This is inner child healing. This is past life vibes. This is desiring to <laughs> come hither, I just heard. So the masculines are feeling like it's only a matter of time that this connection is showing them how to align with home, you know, that inner child healing. So balancing out any of those wounds, any of the traumas, any of the insecurities, the abandonment issues, the loneliness, the imbalances, the things that don't create happiness, anything that rocks their boat in the wrong way, they're seeing this healing happening. They're seeing their whole life change. And then what would they say? I'm almost ready. So we have this reunion, little hat nod, hat tip to almost being ready. This also is the fool card. And sometimes that can represent foolishness, that they've been foolish. They see that possibly when they first met you, they were impatient. The star can represent patience and a distance to what you are desiring, the journey. So they feel like they've been on a journey of healing, a journey of discovery, a humbling journey, because they feel like in, in ways they were foolish when they met. And just like the feminines, I'm getting that the masculines thought that they were the one that was ready, had it figured out, were ahead somehow. And there is a more patient understanding of the way energy works, the way cause and effect works, the way progress works. They are not so naive to that anymore. And they realize that they are becoming more patient, yes, but more accurate with what they offer of themselves into the world. They're not going to just jump blindly into things and karmically have to learn lessons. They're seeing the error of certain ways. They're seeing that rushing has been a trap in the past, potentially, but they also have I'm picking up a little bit of sheepishness. I don't want to say as far as guilt and shame, but this foolishness, this kind of growth that they have experienced in so many aspects in their lives, their destined path. You are part of their destined path, divine feminines. So masculines, you are sort of seeing more accurately than you ever have realistically how ready you are. It's very grounded and practical, maybe more so than ever before. What do the feminines need to know about this? Knight of Wands. Lots of wands for the feminines. So this is passion. This is, you know, give yourself permission, feminines, to, I heard, get on that horse and ride towards your higher timelines. Your ambition, have the, if the fire is lit in you to be productive, to, hmm. I'm hearing a song lyric. I can't, I can't get it. I get up again. I forget what it is. Um, it's something about if there have been dips in the journey as it has related to these fumbles that the masculines may have done. You know, it wouldn't be unconditional love masculines if you didn't fumble here and there and your feminine say, you know, good game. It's all, it's all part of it and just love you and like <laughs> just bounce. <laughs> Anyways, feminines, just like the masculines don't need to be all up in ego and, and, you know, stubbornly holding back because they'd have to eat crow or feel like they would be embarrassed to admit that they've had fault. You can just, you know, business as usual, 
you can gather yourself after something awkward has happened, whether you bring it to the connection or your masculine brings it to the connection and you can just, you know, pick yourself up and continue going forward with the things that really do light your fire. And you don't have to let anybody, not even your masculine, rain on your parade. And that doesn't mean you're going to do it to spite anybody. It means genuinely tap in. It's not something to take personally or not. If somebody is struggling and short-sighted or they're not, they haven't had experiences that they already knew all the answers and they had to learn it as they went, that shouldn't reflect in your ability to passionately live your life to the fullest feminines and not in a rebellion way, but in a way that you know you still seize your opportunities, you're still making the most of your time, you're still joyful, you're still using your gifts, your talents, you're still, you know, having fun, good old wholesome fun with friends and getting out and doing things. Yeah, living your best life, feminines. What can we see for the masculine's heart space? What's going on in their lives as it directly connects to the heart space? Okay, they are kind of feeling out in the cold. So there seems to be something lacking, masculines. This is a card of separation or distance or this energetic awareness of the connection and page of pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles is my card of presence, connecting in the moment, synchronicity could be a Page of Pentacles type of an energy. So masculines, it looks like you're really paying attention to when things align and when things feel like they're on point and when they're contrived or when they're forced or when they're in flow, you're feeling that. You're seeing that ripple out into all of your life because when... <laughs> I'm I'm listening or I'm remembering a poem that my grandmother used to say there once was a girl with a curl in the middle of her forehead when she was good she was very very good but when she was bad she was horrid <laughs> and that's the kind of thing it's like masculines you're realizing that happiness is your priority and when it's bad it's horrid when it's good it's very very good and so you're noticing this good energy when it's heartfelt. No more pretending, no more playing, no more facade, no more mask. This is a very authentic, again, a very authentic, present, real, grounded energy. <laughs> what would the masculine say to the feminines? My life started when I met you and I heard two peas in a pod again. So yeah, this practice of coming into presence regarding connection with others happened when they met you, feminines. Your masculine cared so much to be authentic, real, grounded, practical, present, that this has rippled out into their entire lives and their authentic self started coming to the forefront out into the world with other connections with you, Right then, it was like a switch flipped. What do the feminines need to know about this? Yes, the emperor. So you have inspired this masculine to emperor up. Yeah. So it is not a mistake that you feel what you feel, that you have changed this person's life, that you saw this potential in them. Now, I'm not going to say that every person watching this video is going to end up with the person they are watching this for. You know if it is what you want to keep manifesting. If you're at this level of manifestation feminines, it will be up to you whether or not you ultimately decide to continue on with this counterpart because it will be if they are truly compatible for you or not if they're showing up this way regardless of this person continues to show up this way I'm being told for you I'm being told that every feminine watching this reading has influenced the masculine specific person they're watching this for to emperor up 
That doesn't mean you're going to be rejected if you don't end up with this person. It means you were brought into their life, at least as a soulmate, to help correct their course and their life started. So two layers of connections. There are some soulmates here, some divine counterparts aligned ones. Every connection is for a reason. And all of these specific masculines have been given this opportunity to step into their fullest potential as connected to those who this video finds. And so really know it's not about possessing this masculine feminines. It's not about owning them and coveting them and obsessing over them and desiring them to be yours in that way. This energy is such that you have been placed in this masculine's life as a gift and the fact that they are rising up into their highest potential with or without you not rejecting you but as comrades as souls in this earth school this is something of another layer of this inner victory where we're all in this together we're all bringing in a better world through this kind of love i'm hearing high priestess mercy humility compassion and knowing that we're all in this together and that is a non-attachment view of these connections that does not mean you should resist and deny the connection you feel it means love unconditionally with all of your heart and time will tell if you're meant to come into further alignment or if you begin shifting into other alignments you're not at the mercy of it's not happening outside of you you are manifesting this you may outgrow it you will know if that happens and likely you will continue to come closer it can go either way. It all depends on what lessons are there to teach you in the highest and to have you expand in consciousness. But this is, you know, those who I read for are cosmonauts, love cosmonauts. And these masculines have been blessed and forever changed by these connections because you saw love in them, because you saw the potential, because you said you. You are special, right, masculines? When a divine feminine loves you, you are so blessed indeed. And this has been teaching everyone about alignment, about timing, about synchronicity, about divine timing. The masculines connected here, you are learning this. You are learning <laughs> this magical alignment. What can we see for the masculines? what's going on in their lives as it relates specifically on the heart space to the divine feminines wow the hangman and the hierophant both in the inverse so there's some movement here some spiritual guidance on their heart of hearts these masculines are seeking you're you're praying masculines you're meditating you are forever literally changed into somebody who pays attention to their heart, their knowing, their walking to their beat of their own drum. Like this really is a deep, masterful inner knowing that's moving your reality forward, masculines. The hangman in the inverse like this is mean it means you've had epiphanies, these spiritual epiphanies, whereby you are actively manifesting and becoming your fullest potential, this emperor potential. You are embodying this and you're moving your timelines forward here because you're doing your due diligence to listen to this higher guidance. What would they say to the feminines? What would you say? Words do hurt. Okay, impeccability with speech. If you haven't read The Four Agreements, everybody, that's such a beautiful, beautiful book. It talks about being impeccable with your speech, but also not taking anything personally so masculines are learning how to use language accountably and how important 
mastery of the tongue, what we say is. Feminines are usually more emotionally expressive, long-winded sometimes, especially when afraid or adamant or wanting to be clear. But masculines are very much learning how to use intentional language that more accurately, authentically represents what they are saying. So on the heart space, this is a high level of accountability where the masculine's happiness and the foolishness and you as a calibration, feminines, is helping to come in here and clean up the masculine's act. Free will, masculines, you are being... You're holding yourselves accountable for the way that you've conducted yourself, the way you've said certain things, the, the way, the timing even. You're starting to see that you actually have the power to move your connections forward by being accurate with what you actually know and feel and cutting out shabby behavior is what I just heard. What do the feminines need to know about this? Judgment. They're waking up. They're waking up to how important it is to treat you, divine feminine, accurately to have their heads and hearts aligned. They're seeing the karma. They're seeing their projections. They're seeing the light. They're seeing how when they've acted out, when they've been careless, when they've been reactive that they've said things they haven't meant happiness is their priority this accountability really started when they met you because you saw this potential and you have been holding that mirror for them because of the attraction the pull they have for you feminines they can't quit it they can't put this down and so it continues to refine them with when happiness is afoot and everything is flowy or when it's out of sync and they've brought shoddy stuff to the table they're seeing the light so continue to be that which you want to see in the world be the change feminines instead of just mirroring back shoddy behavior with your masculine don't stoop to their level stay in your high frequency living your best life with this inner victory your conscience clear and masculines obviously you've got an inner feminine softness as well so that inner feminine energy can keep your inner masculine reactive active polarity in check too in unconditional love the best kind of check checkmate that there can be but feminines yeah continue to have your eyes open to all of the times where you or your masculine has fumbled with the connection and continue to do better. When you know better, you do better. And likewise, when they know better, they'll do better. What are the manifestations that the masculines have going on in their own lives as it relates to the feminines? Progress and transformation. Yeah, they're completely reinventing themselves. Masculines, you're completely shifting your paradigms. Six of Swords for me is a paradigm shift. It's the Swords are the mental constructs, and we're going from drama, drama, <laughs> to smooth sailing. There's a transformation here that goes from, you know, reactive to conscientious. So there is a desire for these masculines to clean up their act and speak more from their heart what they want to see, rather than speaking out their frustration or fear and being short-sighted wow okay be more selfish in the inverse so what they would say is oh i couldn't have been more selfish by saying certain things you of all people did not deserve that i just heard they want to 
truly, they've been humbled here. They truly do not believe you're like anyone else anymore. If they tried to treat you just like other karmic feminines or other people, they have been sadly mistaken and they realize that they couldn't have been more selfish than to project all of that pain onto you feminines. Whoa, masculines. They really, really want to make a difference here. What do the feminines need to know? Justice. It's on the table, but it's in the inverse. So this is part of the equation I just heard. This transformation. They are undergoing a, an overhaul with how they speak and act. And this will bring in ultimate justice, but this inner processing is what needs to happen first, feminines. What can we see for what the masculines are doing in their lives at this time? Oh, wow. So we get the Six of Swords. Yeah, they're really, and the Knight of Swords. So they're not communicating outwardly, but they are, same card, <laughs> um, what they're wishing to do. So masculines, you are manifesting in alignment here because we get directly, we get the Six of Swords as your intention for what you want to manifest with this transformation of how you handle situations in general and how you communicate with your feminine. And this action is deep internalized meditation on how to shift the paradigm, how to look at things differently, how to master the, the speech, master what's being said, and not communicating, thinking before you communicate. This is watching what you say. This is personal accountability with how you represent yourself. Wow, masculines, what would you say to the feminines? Yeah, nah. So this is kind of avoidant dismissive. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Wishy-washy gray area. No more of that. So not only saying words that hurt, but also this in and out wishy-washy weak energy there's no more of that so not only have the masculines realized that they have been selfish not taking the feminines into consideration they've said things they don't really love and they've been back and forth so the masculines are seeing how these things have got to stop <laughs> this reading what uh, advice for the feminines this is happening in real time this is a card of waiting in the inverse, Seven of Pentacles is a right now. So right now, for those who this reading is resonating, your masculine is pledging to themselves to really understand how they're representing the mask or authentic authenticity. What can we see for their biggest challenge in their life right now? Okay, we've got two infinity. So this is juggling. Two of pentacles can be like trying to make a decision. Trying to figure out which path to take. We've got this card, the strength card, which is talking about empowerment, humility, overcoming devil energies. So yeah, this is, I just heard quit smoking. So some are quitting smoking right now. There are old ways of thinking of things and there are new ways emerging. This can be stopping the juggling and really going on the straight and narrow, no longer buying into that devil disintegration. This is really beautiful because I'm I'm also, I posted the tool song, um, Jambi, is that what it's called? I don't know, I've never said it aloud. It's really good. It's talking about inner union and how there used to be this temptation to be in devil energies and now inner peace is more important. And that's what this is talking about. So the biggest challenge is continuing to plot this course into uncharted territory for these masculines. You've not been in this level of mastery before and so you are trailblazers. But one step at a time, take a deep breath, Keep going towards the light. Keep going towards the love. 
the growth, the progress, the inner peace, the outer peace, your feminine. <laughs> what would they say to their feminines? I sometimes wonder if you care. So in the inverse, masculines are realizing that they have projected a lot of insecurity on whether or not they thought you cared based on also previous connections with people who were reckless with their hearts, who didn't care like a divine feminine does. And so masculines are realizing that they've been bringing a lot of uncertainty and imbalance into the connections. They are pledging to not do that anymore. And now they're seeing how much you've cared all along. Feminines. What do the feminines need to know about this? Inner bravery. Stay the course. Stick with it. I'm hearing <laughs> your manifestation of this love is about to pay off, feminines. I'm hearing this. Stay brave. It's not a mistake that you love this person, that you've been shown that this light has been shown on this person. Stay true to what you know. Seven, seven. That's divine numbers coming in here. Keep manifesting this inner knowing about your connection, feminines. Remember, if it's manic or it puts you into over-emotionality, you might be trying to make the story fit. But if you have a deep sense of peace and you are somebody who's conscious enough to see legitimate, masterful patterns and you know what you know, stay with it. You're not crazy. What can we see for the solution for these masculines in their lives becoming more deliberate more righteous, more self-directed. Wow. Okay. I just heard celibacy. So this is the Ace of Wands. Remember we saw it in the upright when I was shuffling and I heard hubba hubba. They are blocking anything that is not this straight and narrow that leads straight to union with the divine feminine. So I'm getting that the masculines... You have a lot of sexual options right now, masculines, and you're literally saying no to them all. This is the sexual card. This is blockage. This is in the reverse. So I'm truly getting that as the masculines overcome devil energies and temptation that they're not giving in to lust. They're not giving in to one night stands. They're not giving in to karmic connections that aren't very honoring. They're literally cleaning up all of that. And I'm hearing celibacy before sacred union and beginning this connection with their divine feminines. Oh, they're kind of being cheeky. They're like, maybe. I'm kind of getting that they're like energetically saying maybe. They're trying it. For some who are beginning to cut out weak energy connections and not fall to Jezebel energy or temptation. They're like, I think I can do this. I feel guided. I'm, you know, and then there are some that know, and they're just being cheeky because they know darn well they want their feminine, but they're just kind of being funny here. What do the feminines need to know about this? Oh, your heartache is about to be over for good. Wow. So just keep knowing you know your journey. You know you what you've been through. You know also if this person that you're watching this for, if they don't treat you well. I'm talking about the ones who you know that your heartache is about to be over. I'm getting very like cross, like Jesus, like resurrection energy here. I don't know why. It's like both two shall become one, like dying to this old selves, the karmic selves, and then like this victory cross of <laughs> salvation of the connections. I don't know. I'm really going into that. I feel like with the eclipses and all that Easter imagery, whether you are Christian or not, that is such a beautiful archetypal message to to witness and to comprehend 
So yeah, it feels like the masculines are dying to their old lives. And this goes hand in hand with being your match feminines. What can we see for the direction in the near future? What do the masculines have going on in their own lives? Okay, Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. So they do not feel separate from their feminine. The Queen of Swords in the upright, in the inverse, it's like my karmic feminine energy. In the upright, this is the impeccable, grace-filled, divine feminine softness and appropriate speech and grace, timing, tact. So masculines do not feel separate from this eloquent way that the divine feminines have taught them how to master their communication. I want to make you proud. <laughs> My comprehension of intention and language is going to swoon you. I just heard. <laughs> yeah. So this can be like very sovereign autonomous, but in the inverse like this, I'm really getting this affinity the masculines have for their feminine and how even if they've been sort of at a distance or aloof, that your way about you, your communication, your elegance in how you've handled this connection how could they not be considerate of you as a factor in every way your their life literally started on this level when they met you feminines and the feminines are saying and my life completely transformed in the ways it did too. So don't you worry, masculines. You're not the only one that has been forever changed for the better here. Whoa, wrongful advice. So yeah, masculines, that's super interesting. It looks like masculines would say they've received wrongful advice and they've proven every little bit of it wrong in name of this love. They have completely validated, recognized, listened, resonated with everything that you have been since the moment they met you, feminines. And they have been given all manners of hellish, devilish, wrongful, bad advice all the way along. Just like you, feminines, when you've tried to talk to people about your connections and they've said, they don't love you, forget about them, leave why would you let somebody treat you that way, even though they were misunderstanding because it's so hard to put into words? You've maybe stopped talking to all of those naysayers, feminines. Masculines are about ready to admit that they also got a bunch of really bad advice. What do the feminines need to know about this? Reunion, six of cups. We saw that for the masculines to begin with regarding them becoming that emperor energy. So, you know, for many, this is going to produce the love of a lifetime and thus reconciliation. Feminines, you've been manifesting this. You know what you saw when you met your masculine. You know that wasn't worth throwing the towel in too soon. And masculines, there's hope. There's hope for you. Don't you worry, masculines. Ugh. Two peas in a pod. Okay, let's get... Let's get... Let's get these. What can we get for the masculines? One card. DMs. Change your tune. Moonlight Serenade. What a beautiful card. So, mas music syncs. Giving your feminine a music link in the night. If you are into music, if you play instruments, if you sing masculines, this might be beautiful advice to offer something straight to your feminine here. Hmm. Yeah, that's lovely. Lovely masculines. Change your tune can be apologizing for 
communicating in ways that were lacking compared to how you truly feel about this incredible divine feminine that you're connected with. I'm just hearing feminines watch for song lyrics that your masculines share in the near future because there might be something of a message coming in for you. What can we see for the feminines? We get a couple here. Take a breath and patience. <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk about that right now, but yeah, take a breath. Keep living your best life. Masculines are changing their tune. Okay, many blessings. Bye for now.